Hello friends, I have a lot of information to share with you over the next couple of videos. Keep a lookout, I'm going to try to break this down in uh, short videos. When we look at this verse in Ezekiel 38, we know that this Gog, the chief head ruler, is going to come against the Lord's people when he says, my people, my land, right? What's the first nation that we generally think about? Who's the number one threat to Israel today? Most people will say Iran, right? But Iran isn't Gog. The chief head ruler of the coalition, Meshach and Dubal, includes Persia, Ethiopia and Libya, yes? So, stay with me. The main enemy of Israel has not even been disclosed to Israel right now. At this moment, Israel is primarily focused on the threat coming from Iran. But this scripture is telling us that there is another who is the head. Persia, including the wider region of Iran, Afghanistan and Pakistan, potentially, because that would include Persia, it's actually this Turkish head that is the threat. And unbeknownst to Israel right now, because now they're thawing relations, Turkey and Israel, there's coming a time where Turkey is going to do this surprise attack on Israel. Currently, we look at the latest news. Abraham Accords, Corka seeks defense cooperation. The Abraham Accords caucus, a bipartisan group of lawmakers focused on building upon the 2020 normalization agreement between Israel and several Arab countries, has introduced legislation for a defense cooperation system. Defense from who? Gog and Magog Alliance. <clears throat> the threat that is coming from the north. The Abraham Accords caucus has introduced legislation for a joint military defense system with Israel and US Arab allies and partners in the Middle East. They are your Sheba and Dedan and the merchants of Tarshish. I will put these in the description afterward for your further reading. Will Biden's Middle East trip, which is coming up next month, Will Biden's Middle East trip herald Saudi Israel normalization? There's a bit of speculation about this and much anticipated meeting that's happening next month. Because Aside to the normalization prospect between Saudi Arabia and Israel, this is more of a regional security agreement that is being worked between Israel and Saudi Arabia and the signatories to the Abraham Accords, friends, including Egypt and Jordan. We are getting so close to that time, friends. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to have to hold it there because there's so much more I want to share with you. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Remember what it says here in Revelation. I'm trying to make this really short. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you guys. You won't believe what time it is right now. I think it's midnight almost. I'm so exhausted, friends. The Lord's grace is su sufficient. In Revelation 17... Verse 12, chapter 17, verse 12. Remember, this alliance is mentioned here also. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have received no kingdom as yet, but they receive authority for one hour's kings with the beast, 
And what do these guys do? These are of one mind and they will give their power and authority to the beast. They actually make war with the lamb, you guys. And the lamb will overcome them for he's lord of lords and king of kings. And those who are with him are called, chosen and faithful. Not only do they come against the lamb of God, but also the harlot, which we just read in Ezekiel 38, I believe this is that scenario. Verse 15. Then he said to me, The waters which you saw where the harlot sits are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. And the ten horns which you saw on the beast, these will hate the harlot, make her desolate, naked, eat her flesh, burn her with fire. For God has put it into their hearts to fulfill his purpose, to be of one mind, and to give their kingdom to the beast until the words of God are fulfilled. And the woman whom he saw is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. So the harlot is bigger than just Saudi Arabia. It's a city, I believe it's most likely, and it's probable, it's Neom, Neom City. But there's so much more to share, friends, about this. I will be back before I continue talking, stay tuned. There's so much more to share. Make sure to please leave a like and a comment and to share this message. I'll see you again soon, friends.